I'm gonna be showing you how to open up the HP 15-CS series laptop. And in this case, I'm swapping out the standard HDD with an SSD. This is a really common laptop that's sold at Costco and a lot of other places. And uh, the hardware is great. The only problem with this computer is the hard drive. If you're not familiar with SSDs, once you put an SSD in this type of laptop, it's blazing fast. And I wanna give you a really quick example. I'm gonna start it up on the original hard drive, which is a mechanical drive with spinning disks, and uh, show you the difference in boot up time now and after I put the SSD. Trying to get in here as fast as possible. Bam, Windows is open. And that's how long it takes with the stock hard drive. We're gonna swap this out and uh, I'm gonna give you a comparison afterwards. So let's get into it. Now before pulling the laptop apart, the first thing you need to do is make your life easy and create a recovery drive. Just get a USB drive, plug it in, then uh, you can go into the search bar, just type recovery, or if you know how to get there another way, create a recovery drive. And then you have some options here, uh, back up your system files. If the PC's brand new, you, it doesn't really matter to be honest, we just, and then hit next. It's gonna tell you what available drives. You select your drive, click next. Everything will be deleted, yeah, that's fine, and create. And that's it, you just let it go to work, create the recovery drive, and this is the easy way to do it because this is not only gonna copy over all of the Windows installation files, but it also copies over all of the factory drivers so you don't have to search for all the drivers individually for the hardware on your computer. So we're gonna let this finish up and uh, come back to it when it's done. Okay, now after a while, the recovery drive is ready, so we can go ahead and uh, just hit finish, shut down the PC, and uh, after it completely shuts down, we can open it up. Let's get started, we're gonna close that up. Put down a towel, so we don't get the PC all scratched up, because this is brand new, and we're gonna flip it over, get it set, and underneath, we're gonna find all of the screws that hold that bottom cover on, which is gonna be, there's three screws here on the front side, and then there's another three screws underneath these two rubber feet. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove, you can use your nail or like a credit card. And then after you remove those feet, you're gonna find those three hidden screws. You just remove those screws. Okay, and then uh, after those three screws, underneath the feet are the three front screws, which are silver. And what I do is I kind of just group them together in like a little pile. Now once you get all those screws out, the next thing you're gonna do is either get a credit card or a pry tool. I'm using a credit card because this is something that everybody has available, almost everybody. And then what I do is I start in the corner and kind of get this corner out and get the credit card underneath there. And this is, this is where you have to be careful, like where these hinges are and where these cutouts are because if you keep on prying here, you will break this plastic cover here. So what I do is I kind of pry it in between right there. Look, you can see it came right out. And here's the important part. As you continue to move the credit card down the seam, you have to pry with your finger just a little bit. You gotta put a little bit of outward pressure so the clips come off in one piece. You can't just slide the credit card. You have to do both at one time. Have a good look at this. There you go. And there it goes. Let's flip this over so you can get a good look. And this is where you gotta be careful, like where these headphone jacks are. 
Don't stick the credit card in too deep because there are electronic components just on the other side of that seam. And also, not only can you pull out a little bit, but when you push the credit card in, you can give it a little kind of downward and outward pressure. Just make sure you don't drop it. Okay, and there it is. That's what it looks like inside. And here's our hard drive. Yeah, this is a, quite a monster of a battery. This is the RAM, the random access memory, cooling fans, heat sink. The processor is uh, right there, right underneath the heat sink. And um, yeah, now let's get this hard drive out. Okay, so after you get those two screws out, you're gonna lift the hard drive ever so slightly and then slide it over just a hair. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna release these little pins that lock into place on the other side of the hard drive. So we're gonna move that over. And then once those pins clear, you're gonna just pivot the hard drive up just like this. Grab this cable here and just side to side, just gently remove it because it is fragile. And put that to the side. And this is our hard drive. So next, what we want to do is just gently remove this little rubber cradle from the one side and then remove the bracket. And that's it. Goodbye, mechanical drive. This is the drive that I bought to replace it. And uh, you know, it's 200 bucks. I got the one terabyte SSD on sale for $150 at Micro Center. And these Samsung drives, in my experience, they're pretty good. One terabyte, this is, uh, the rewrite speed on here is, um, it's pretty good. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and install the drive. Now we're gonna install the uh, solid state drive and installation is the reverse order of removal. All right, don't over tighten those, just snug. Then on the opposite side, we have that, you know, that rubber cradle, the isolation mount. You just have to push that little rubber pin into the hole and that's it, we're all set. Okay, now we're gonna just bring it in here gently. Again, I like to move slowly. In this case, I mean, my hands are big and some of this stuff's super small. We're just gonna plug that connector right into the hard drive. So you see those slots right there? Those little retainers kind of slide right into the slots. And then you just push it down and line up these little alignment pins. And again, be careful not to break anything. Those kind of snap right in. Keep it nice and tight in there. Reinstall our screws that hold that cradle in place. And again, just put these snug. Don't over tighten those, they're really small screws. Give this little ribbon connector, this ribbon cable, a little push down to uh, reattach that adhesive. The SSD is installed. Um, next thing we have to do is just put the back cover on. Make sure we didn't miss any clips. Okay, now the cover snapped in place. We're gonna put the screws back. And these just go kind of snug. Do not over tighten these. Attach the feet back in place. One side, tap it, line it up. The other side, lengthwise done. So the only thing we have left to do now is that recovery drive that we created earlier. Put that in the computer, start the computer up.
Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. Now we can go look for any updates. Okay, now type a password for your account. And one more time to make sure we've got it right. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay, that's the last step. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Now we're all set, Windows reinstalled. All we have to do now is go and make sure Windows is activated. Go to activation. And Windows uh, uses digital licenses now, so this should be Activate it automatically since we made a bootable recovery drive first. All that information is in that drive and it activates itself, as you can see right here. And that's it, you're all set. Okay, now that Windows is installed, I shut the PC down and the last thing I wanna show you is how fast Windows boots now with the SSD. Here it goes. Bam, just like that. And you can see a big difference between the two speed wise and uh, everything runs faster, more snappy and smoother with an SSD just because the read write times are so much faster. So hopefully this little uh, video helped you out in case you were like me and you were looking for some type of tutorial or instructions to show you how to open up this PC because this is brand new and I didn't want to mess it up and like start ripping apart the case. So I had to take some time and figure it out to show everybody else. So uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any requests for anything that you want to see done or you want to know how to do, uh, you know, drop us a line and uh, I'll try to accommodate. Thanks for watching.